Alrighty then, everybody. Welcome to my second tutorial on using uh, LaTeX on Overleaf. So what we're going to try to learn today is how to use LaTeX uh, to do proper APA citations. So the first thing you're going to want to do on this is to get the template that I've created. And on my Moodle site, you can see it here, this APA bibliography lesson template. It's a zip file, so I'm going to download it to my desktop. So here, I will click on it, and I'm going to save it to my desktop here. Save desktop. And there we go. So you will notice that it is called APA Less Bibliography Template. You can see the name there. So now we'll need to remember that to find it. So now what we're going to do now, it, now that that template is saved on my desktop, I'm going to go into Overleaf. And what I'm going to do in Overleaf is I'm going to log in. Now I'll assume that you've created an account in Overleaf, in Overleaf, excuse me. Um, so I use my Google account to log in. So I'll just click on my Google account here. If you've created an account, then obviously you're going to have to use your own password and username. So here we go. And there's my Google account. Log in. And there we go. This is my Overleaf account project page. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to upload that file that I just downloaded from, from my Moodle site. So you see this little button here? This is the upload button, right? Not the new project button, no the upload button. This is what you want to press. So I'm going to press on that and I'm going to upload a zip file. Yes. And what we need to do is we need to uh, find that zip file on my computer. So we, we have my computer selected and you can either drag the fold, drag the file, the zip file, um, onto this box or we can just find it, I guess. Yeah, names are kind of complicated. Let's see. What one was it? Okay, yes, it was APA uh, Bibliography Lesson Template. There we go. So I'm going to open that up here. And there we go. So now uh, it is opening that project, that zip file that we just made. So here we go. So what this is, um, this is uh, an APA uh, manuscript template uh, that I showed you in class recently. But what I've done is I have um, shrunk it down so that it's a lot more simple. And I'm thinking that way, because it's more simple, you might be able to understand what, uh, what's happening more easily. So furthermore, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete this stuff from this template just to show you. I'm going to retype something kind of similar in a minute. But I just delete that. So you can see um, this this material above here. Um, you don't touch this stuff in the, in the LaTeX template. It's all set up to make the format, make the document the right type. So we don't touch this stuff unless you know what it's to do. Um, this is your the, the uh, name of your um, manuscript, so you can type in whatever name you choose for your paper. That's the long name. This is the short name, so the short title. So you would type that in, and it would just show up in your title page, and uh, the short one would show up on the top as well uh, of every page. So you can see here, if you look, this is the pre the, the PDF preview here. And you can see the title and the title page. And then we can see the abstract, which for some reason I've got strawberry banana written there, but you can write a paragraph on what your, uh, what your project is about instead inside this, uh, those braces. The author, you would write your name right here. Okay, so you put your name instead of U, Y, O, U. And then you would put uh, affiliation. How about McGee Secondary? That's probably pretty good. So there's the abstract. So you'll put your abstract in there. And now we begin the document. So this, this command actually just makes the title page. So if you didn't have that, you wouldn't have a title page. Then we have a section marker for the introduction. And you can make whatever sections you choose. You don't have to use my section headers. And then, uh, so you can see over here, here is the introduction section, which says, um, 
introduction says this is my introduction. So there it is on the PDF if you can see it. And then you have a subsection. And then here's the name of the subsection. And here is some text in the subsection. And you can see it showing up there. Now what I wanted to show you is how to do uh, references. Now if you see here, this is this is how to make this command makes the bibliography down here. You see that command bibliography backslash bibliography, and it is pointing towards this bibliography file. So the bibliography file, you can see it on the file list up here. If you want to look at what's in there, okay, I've I've actually got here it is. So I've actually got a couple of uh, references here. So first off. This is actually a real journal um, reference, or no, never mind. This is a web page. Excuse me. This is a link on a web to, uh, to a web page. So if you were to uh, put a bibliography for the web page uh, for a web page, you would have to change some of these things. So first off, the title would go here for the web page. Um, actually, before I go into this, this little thingy here is very important. This title there, you see that little word right there that shows up after this online thing. That is the name of the reference, and you're going to use that name to refer to this citation uh, later in your paper. So Schroeder 2012, okay, we're gonna need that later. So um, here now uh, we have the title, we have the web address, so here's the full web address. Notice there's an open brace and a closed brace, so you have to put it inside the braces. The abstract right here, that's really just a description uh, of the um, of this reference. It actually won't show up in your citation, but it's important just uh, to remind yourself what it is about. The URL date. Well, the URL date is, I think, the date at which the um, I think it's the date at which you accessed it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is the name of the website and called the name of the journal. Uh, this is the author. So you put the author's last name. Uh, comma, the first name. Uh, and then we can fill in the year right here, the year that it was made, this article. And then you can write the three-letter uh, code for, for the month. So that's October, so just the three-letter code. And that's it, okay? So uh, if you're going to uh, do uh, references um, on LaTeX uh, in Overleaf, you're going to have to fill in um, some of these fields. Now, be careful when you change them. Uh, don't lose any of the uh, braces or the commas or anything, or the, the program might not like it too much. So we're gonna, re we're gonna remember that's here, yes? And uh, remember, again, that name, that referral name, that ID for this whole citation. This, by the way, is the entire citation right here. Okay, so that's one citation for a single web page. There's another one below right here, down here, but I'll talk about that one later, okay? So now let's go back to the main file for our, our um, project. And uh, let's go look at the end. And it says bibliography here. But we go to the end, and I think you're going to see there's no references there, even though there's actually some references in the bibliography. And the reason why there are no references here is that I haven't used any of my citations yet. All right, so why don't we try to use our references? So I'm going to use the introduction section is the place where I'm going to do some citations. Now, the way we do citations is, well, I'm going to write one more sentence here. So I am about to uh, use a citation. Okay. Uh, it is a web page citation. All right. So the way you do citation is you go backslash and then cite, cite, and then you put braces here. Now, what you need to do now is you need to go, uh, you need to remember that name, that Schroeder 2012 name. Actually, I'm not sure that I fully remember the spelling, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to this file here, and I'm going to take that name, and I'm gonna select it, no comma, and I'm going to copy it, so copy. And now I'm going to go back to my main tech file, now that that's copied, and I'm going to go into the citation here, and I'm going to uh, paste in. 
Now what you're going to see is that the proper format citation shows up here like that. Do you see that? Schroeder in brackets 2012. You see, uh, here I'll zoom in there. You see it shows up there. This is where the site was to happen, yes? And Schroeder uh, 2012 just showed up, yes? Now, okay. So the way you're actually supposed to use uh, citations is these citations are meant to stand in um, as it's it's meant to be like an object. You're, it's what you have is the uh, the name of the citation in brackets the year, and it's meant to be used in a sentence. So you might say something like this: Schrödinger uh, Schröder 2012 um, mentions uh, that there are many users on Facebook. You see, so. In your text, you see this funny command that says cite, and then here's the ID for the citation. But the uh, LaTeX program actually places the proper way to reference the citation into your text. And so if you go back here, you see how it works. Look, so uh, it is a web page, page citation. Schrodinger 20, Schroeder 2012 mentioned that there are many users on Facebook. That's how you're supposed to do uh, citations in APA. They're, they're put into sentences like this, okay? Now, if I may, there is another, oh, I forgot to show you. Um, if you'll look back here, in fact, if you'll remember the references section at the end was once blank. But now, if you look at it here, uh, LaTeX has in fact uh, placed the uh, citation into the references section. And it has formatted it in the proper way for APA. All you have to do is set up that original .bib file properly, and then LaTeX, if you using the proper um, using the proper template, will actually slot in uh, a proper citation right here, just like that. And you'll notice it has italics like this, separated by periods, retrieved, and then the date of the web page, and then here's the web address. And so, now, if you'll remember, there was a second uh, um, reference in my bibliography file. Okay, so here it is, this one right here. Okay, so that is the second citation. And I actually just took this at random from uh, Google Scholar. Um, and Google Scholar actually outputs references in this format. So if you use Google Scholar, you don't always have to fill all these fields in by yourself. But here is the title of this particular scientific journal article. And it is um, about uh, sand flies, actually, for whatever reason. It's just randomly chosen. Uh, the name of this citation is Gossage um, 2003-2. And the two is probably because this author published another uh, article in that journal uh, during the same year. And this is the second one he's published. So, but it's just a name. You have to understand it's just a name. It's, it's just an ID number that you're going to refer, use to refer to this entire um, citation. So here's the uh, title. Um, it's about sand flies. Um, the authors, there are actually many authors, and this is kind of interesting. So you'll notice it's uh, last name first. So you type in Gossage, Sharon, M. Uh, that's one of them, and Rogers, last name, comma, Matthew E. And then the, the third author uh, named Bates, his name is Bates, Paul, and then A. So last name first, and then comma. So you place those in there. The name of the journal that uh, you can find this uh, article is the International Journal for Parasitology. And we have the volume, the number of the article, the page, the page numbers, the year, and the publisher. Okay, so that stuff's all filled in, right? So now what if I want to do a citation in my uh, main article of that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the name, if you don't mind. I'm going to go control copy here. So copy. So now I have the name of this citation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back, go back to tech, let tech here. Let's go back to the introduction. Now again, notice right here, nothing there yet. Look at the introduction. So I'm going to put another sentence showing you how to use this citation. So we're going to cite 
uh, brace, and then paste the name in, Gossage2003-2. There we go. And that will place the citation in there. And then Gossage2003-2 uh, um, mentions uh, that, or how about, uh, describes some interesting details about the life cycle of sand flies. Okay, so there we go. Now, what I want you to see here, okay, finally the preview is caught up. So what do we see here? Well, LaTeX takes the only the last names, Gossage, Rogers, comma, and Bates, and then puts the year only in brackets 2003. So it, it neglects the first uh, initials, it only uses the last names, and it only mentions the year here. And then the way this works is that it says Gossage, Rogers, and Bates describes, I probably should change that to describe, describes some interesting details about the life cycle of sand flies. Okay, and that's the way that APA, in APA, you're supposed to cite things, all right? is um, to mention it in this way, the names or names, comma, uh, or in brackets, uh, 2003. But really interesting here, folks, if you go to the end of this, if I go to the end, to the last page, to the references, oh, look, look at that. There it is. There's the entire reference, and it sorts it alphabetically. So Gossage, comma, S, comma, S dot, M dot, so S, M, Gossage, Rogers, comma, M, E, and Bates, comma, P, A, in brackets, 2003. The title, let me see the title, the journal article in italic, in ital, an italicized font, um, the volume, in brackets, the number, the page numbers. And you don't have to format any of this. That's the really cool thing about doing, using something like this, an automated tool like LaTeX, is it does all the formatting for you. And it places the citations in only when you use them. So in any case. Now finally, um, say we've used that, and, or say you've used this template to make your uh, lab reports that we discussed in class. So, um, and you could use this template uh, as a starting point for your lab report. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna download the PDF. So click on PDF here, that button PDF up top. Um, I will open it, open with, and there it is. A nicely typeset uh, report uh, with all of your information. And again, strawberry banana, I know that sounds kind of silly. Should get rid of that. Um, that was the abstract, the short description. Um, this is the introduction, and it is a web page citation. Schrodinger 2012 mentions that there are many users on Facebook. That's good. And Gossage, Rogers, and Bates in brackets 2003 describe um, some interesting details about the life cycle of sand flies. So there it is for your consideration. Uh, that is how to do uh, citations uh, using this particular LaTeX template. So I hope you uh, gain some use out of this, and uh, thanks for listening. Have a good night.